You may remember that recently I rescued my toys from my childhood home and that the most valuable to me were my My Little Ponies. It's ponies! Oh my god, it's my ponies! They were pretty filthy. <gasps> Ew! So I had to consult a good friend of mine, Andrea, to help me get them cleaned up. And um, I thought it might be interesting to document the process and show how to properly clean them and restore them. So, here we go. Look! 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 I've never seen anything like them before! They say they're good luck! My little pony! My ponies have been stored in an attic for over 20 years and exposed to extreme temperatures that range from freezing to over 160 degrees. There was this brown film left on them from the oils on human hands, and some of them had this gross mystery substance melted onto them, which needed to be cleaned off immediately. Their hair also had this sticky feeling that seems to be pretty common on older toys as well. To remedy all of these, a bath was in order. You have to be really careful when you're washing your ponies. First of all, you don't want to get water trapped inside because of the risk of mold forming. And second, there's a metal washer that holds the pony's tail in place, so water exposure can form rust. If you decide to wash your pony, carefully run the water over where their hindquarters facing down and do not submerge. Dish soap and a toothbrush work really well to clean and brighten the pony's bodies. For washing your pony's hair, shampoo and conditioner, just regular shampoo and conditioner works really well. And that's because it gets rid of that sticky feeling and it also gives a nice floral scent. Um, one of the videos I saw online showed someone just taking a comb and just pulling the dry pony hair to get the tangles out. But I find that in severe cases of a tangle, a gentle conditioning can really work wonders. Combing through the tangles while the hair is wet with conditioner is really gentle and effective, but just make sure you rinse it out well and make sure you don't get any water inside your pony. For really stained ponies, a common thing that people use is OxyClean. Now there's no specific recipe on this, you just want to keep your ponies submerged in that as long as you need. Another very popular and effective cleaning tool is a magic eraser. Once the sticky brown substance had been removed from them, I used this on my ponies to get off the remaining stains. You can really scrub as hard as you need, as long as you avoid any of the painted areas or the glitter. If you need to do a more thorough cleaning, the heads can be removed very carefully. This way you can clean inside, replace the tails, etc. One good reason to remove the head is to replace the tail clamp and the washer with a plastic one so you don't have to worry about rust anymore. Something I didn't learn about until I started restoring my ponies is pony cancer. From what I read online, it seems debated as to what causes it, but most people think it's the deterioration of the vinyl over time. Is there a cure for cancer? Well, that's also up in the air. Most people just quarantine the infected ponies, but apparently you can also try boiling the pony in an OxyClean solution. Okay, now for the fun part. So your pony's clean and you want to make her look like new again. There are several techniques that I've found to be very successful in styling your pony's hair. It really just depends on the look you're going for. In terms of the tail, a lot of times you can just wrap it around the hind leg and allow it to dry. If you need a little assistance in holding it in place, a strip of paper towel works really well. For the manes, for your straight and short hair ponies, you can wrap the mane around the pony's neck and secure it with a strip of paper towel and just a little bit of tape. For longer haired ponies, or for those with curly hair, you have other options. You can use straws and q-tips for tighter curls, and for larger curls, a very effective method is curlers. Letting the hair air dry overnight works really well. This is my childhood surprise, and she looks pretty rough. She does still have her factory curls though, so I'm going to try out a method to maintain them while freshening them up. It was really gratifying to see my childhood ponies restored to such a great condition. And if you have some vintage ponies that look the worse for wear, you can get a great result as well with just a little bit of work. My little pony, my little pony, and comb and brush her hair. My little pony, my little pony, tie a ribbon to show how much I care. My little pony. Pony. My Little Pony. Each sold separately. Collect them all.